Alan McAnally's at Bournemouth. He's got news of a goal in that match. It's a third goal for Manchester City. 35 minutes played, 3-0. That's Alan McAnally keeping us bang up to date. Goalless, possession fairly equal. Just need one of these teams to take a bit of a chance, a bit of a gamble, commit one or two more men forward in the uh, hope of getting a goal. It's Harry Winks. Patiently passing the ball around, trying to make a chance. Here's Winks. Jan Vertonghen. He's read that, hasn't he? And made the interception, made it look easy, actually. Advantage rule played for Spurs. Lucas. Here's Winks. Lucas! Really good defending. If he hadn't touched it, it was a goal. Now, one of the keepers thanking him for that bit of closing down by his defender. He's put in the corner. Very good positioning by the defender. That's one way out of that situation with a back heel, but the opposition saw it coming. They can be quick on the break now. Opposition slow to get back, so surely he must score. A marvellous breakaway from Newcastle, rounded off in style. Well, that was clinical to say the least, wasn't it? The way they moved the ball so quickly forward just before half time, and uh, they will be delighted with that. They haven't played badly, but haven't created too much. Well, not what he was looking for. And the manager now looking less than pleased. Somebody's going to pay for that uh, goal they've just conceded. There will be a minimum. So it's Newcastle United in front. Added time. Jan Vertonghen. So it's 1 0 here as the half time whistle goes. Newcastle United with the second half now to deal with. They played well in the first half. Federico Fernandez. San Maxima. John Joe Shelby. Alain San Maxima. That's good passing, probing. It's Yedley. Adama Traore. Looking to create an opening. Deandre Yedlin. John Joe Shelby. Tam Maxima. Well, the player that we're featuring here has done well. He's certainly been an influence on this first half. Yeah, and what a good time to score that was. A good side in the lead. Coming up for you on EA Sports, don't forget, don't miss this, the coverage of the Premier League fixture for Newcastle United, they'll be hosting Watford. Yeah, I've heard a lot of supporters get excited about it, and I am as well. Here's Winks, Tongi Dombele. Out for the park for us today, Alan McAnally with news of a goal. It's a second goal for Everton. 54 minutes played, 2-1. Top work, Alan. We're back here now with Alan Smith. Good, clean tackle. Song. Winks. Miguel Almiron. Probably expected this. Newcastle trailing in the possession stats. Well, they do say possession is nine-tenths of the law. But uh, not the case here. They've used the ball when they've got it really well. They've been so clinical on the counter-attack more often than not. The fans have been thrilled. You can sense it on the social media sites. Roman, great ball. It's offside, and the referee's given it.
Traore. To Maxima. They're looking good when they attack. Return pass. Here's Winks. Tongi Dombele. Now, can they make this count? Keeping the ball well in a dangerous area now. John Joe Shelby. Here is Almiron. Pietro Willems. Chance to get it into the middle thanks to the referee playing the advantage. Yeah, yeah. Referee has blown and he's given the free kick. Is he going to be an in swinger or an out swinger? He can deliver these with both feet. In the Bournemouth game, we're hearing there's a goal. Alan McAnally can bring us right up to speed. It's another goal for Manchester City. It's been scored by Ivan Rakitic. A shot in a crowded area that took a deflection and ended up in the net. 68 minutes played, 4-0. Great to have Alan McAnally out and about for us. And he's brought us right up to date again there. Here's Winks. Kane. Looking to use the full width of the pitch in this attack. Now they're looking to get forward from this position. Tottenham fans doing their very best with the support they're showing here. Now Tongi Dombele. It's Harry Winks. Keeping calm in the pursuit of uh, an equalising goal here, not panicking. And that's what a coach would want, to stop the supply into the middle. We're hearing about a goal at the Vitality Stadium, Alan McAnally. It's another goal for Manchester City. It's been scored by Raheem Sterling. The ball was heading straight to the keeper's gloves when the defender got his shoulder in the way, steering it into his own net. 74 minutes played, 5-0. Well, right on the spot there for that story, Alan McAnally, of course. It's Harry Winks. Chance to cross it. Good purpose in the tackle. Not going to be one of those nearly games for Newcastle United, I don't think. They are going to get the win that their general level of performance merits in this game. Cher. Well, the leading side here are leading on the scoreline and in possession of the ball. Their control really exemplified by this passage of play. Here is Almiron. Set up to play on the break now. That's a tremendous piece of play. Kane, Alan McAnally back in familiar pastures at Villa Park today. Alan with a goal update for us from the Villa game. It's a second... goal for Aston Villa six minutes remain 2-2 two -two. we're back here again thanks to Alan McAnally it's a change in personnel for Newcastle via the bench 85 minutes played five to go share John Joe Shelby that's oh, lovely passing this and knocking the ball around with such confidence yeah it's the understanding between those players down there they seem to be reading what each is going to do before they've done it. 
what they're going to do here. Well, a few going into the box for this corner, and they could play it short and just try and just use up the time that remains. Well, this will be interesting. Changes now for both teams. It's Yedlin. Nabil Bentaleb. The referee has indicated there will be a minimum of two The cross could come in here. One pass away from being a great move. Now Tongi Dombele has only a minute to go. There we are, final whistle. There are some real heroes. Today we are at St James's Park in the northeast of England. Martin Tyler here along with Alan Smith. Premier League football is coming right up for you. It's Newcastle United and they take on Watford. Yeah, thanks Martin. Well, we've got a couple of teams here that their strengths are attacking, no doubt about it. So I'm sure they'll be going at each other very quickly. That looked promising and then broke down. Newcastle United's lineup. Martin Dubravka is the goalkeeper. Alain Saint Maximin plays alongside Adama in midfield. And here is just the one main attacker in this lineup. Gerard de Lefeu. That's something for him to chase. Keeper did well to reach it, but he couldn't keep it. Good interception there. Fantastic stop a moment ago and I just noticed his defenders they were thanking him because they would have been behind there and here's Watford and this is how they're going to line up Ben Foster starts in goal Abdullah Dukure plays alongside Etienne Capu in the middle of the park and they're going to go with one striker up front and Newcastle on the attack John Joe Shelby tries the shot how has he kept that one out? His reactions there were sensational. He's played it short. Well, he has started fast and they've started fast. That's the opening goal. And Newcastle United have the goal. 
I think the goal scorers made the most of that corner because it was just a, a standard floated ball into the box. So Newcastle United have the lead. Abdullah Dukure. Done well under pressure here to hold the ball as the challenge came in. Going forward well. Keeping the ball and looking for an opening. And that ball belongs to the goalkeeper. Even we questioned him playing in this position, didn't we, when he was first given the job. But, wow, he's proved us wrong and the managers benefited from his versatility. Yeah, I think so often it's a matter of how you go into this situation, whether you take a positive outlook. If you don't, you're not going to do well. Here's Joe Linton. Joe Linton. Looking for goal now. How did he reach that? Brilliant goalkeeping. They've gone short with the corner. And he's seen the shot. What a save that was. The agility on show there was outstanding. Trying to catch the opposition out with a short corner. Oh, he's cut that out well, well read. Joe Linton. John Joe Shelby. Pietro Willems. Continue to knock the ball around, looking for the opening. And here's the shot. It's in! Fine moment for them. They've got a firmer grip on the game now. They're two ahead. What build up here, Alan? The passing was so slick and it really did deserve a goal that move. Well, it did. The manager will be delighted. I think that's something they've worked on on the training ground. Came off a treat. Restarting at 2 0. It is extraordinary in this city centre stadium, and maybe because of it, where it's like a goldfish bowl to play here in Newcastle. They haven't won anything domestically since 1955. No, it is incredible. I mean, this place, Dominic. Cleverly done. Clipped up towards the back into play off the post, back off the bar. It was a marvellous effort, wasn't it, a moment ago? He couldn't have hit it any better. San Maxima. Share. On the move and able to cut out the pass. Cleared away, well away from goal. The hosts had more than enough of the ball today. The way they've played... The way they've been clinical in front of goal, it's difficult to see a way back for the opposition if they can continue in this vein. They've been good vision. That is a supreme save at full stretch. It's short the corner this time. From the byline, cuts it back. And it's Ben Foster to the rescue for his team. And it's going to be his throw here. Jan Matt. Well, they're trying to put some pressure on him now, the attackers. And the referee has acknowledged the flag from his assistant and given the offside. John Joe Shelby, Alain Saint Maxima. Saint Maxima. Pusetto. Neatly intercepted. Federico Fernandez. Costly loss of possession maybe here. That could open them up. Great save by a diving goalkeeper. And in it goes. Reaching for it a little bit with the header. And that's the expected result. Back to the training ground, I think.
Etienne Capou. Here's Ducoure. Come back to get a touch and get involved in the game. That's the way to win the ball back. Good width in the attack here, looking for a cross at the end of it. Counter-attack on for Newcastle. I think the wide man's got a chance here. There's space out near the touchline. It's still dangerous here off the goalkeeper. Bit of a desperate lunge, that. And he's going to get booked for it, I think. Well, decisive refereeing here. He reached for the card straight away at that offence. Well, you could argue he's been a bit harsh there. Maybe uh, another ref would have just had a word instead of booking him. And yet another corner. And that's a short routine here. And shoots! Oh, he was in for another goal there, but the goalkeeper this time got the better of him. Yeah, it looked for all the world like the striker was going to beat the kick. In with a chance! Well, that should be the game. We could call it another insurance goal. Surely they can't throw it away here. Fantastic goal, this one. Well, he's thanking the corner kick taker because it was a spot-on delivery. An amazing first half in this game. Have a look at that scoreline. Christian Cabasele. Abdoulaye Ducouré, Etienne Capou. Cleverly. They're looking good when they attack. And that's the referee signalling for half-time, blowing his whistle. Well, we wait to see what the second half brings. The first half was conclusive, but you don't win the game at half-time. It's Yedley. Now that will be a corner. One of the players that we really thought at the start of the game would be the sort of guy we're talking at the end for the right reasons, but we might not uh, mention him in uh, a positive way, the way he's played today. That graphic doesn't make for good reading. He's got to do better, otherwise what's the point in having him out there? Enterprising attacking play, but not quite enterprising enough. Maxima, chance to go at the opposition with pace. This is how they love to play on the break. Out in front of goal. Chance after chance after chance. It's been textbook by this team and by some of those midfielders in particular with their passing. Tries the shot. Just a reminder of what a great keeper he is. And he's a big lad and he needed every inch of his frame there. Corner's going to be taken short this time. Brilliant defending, it's the keeper stops it. There could be a follow-up now. Pusetto. Just a little nudge to nudge you in the direction of what's coming up on EA Sports for you. Our coverage of the Premier League fixture, Newcastle United. They'll be facing Liverpool away from home. Yeah, it's got a good feel about it, that one. Look forward to joining you in the gantry for it. Good vision here. So how about Watford and the next game on? Takes the shot off. Truly outstanding save. No wonder he's getting a standing ovation for that. They like the short corner, this team. Goes for goal. That's a good block. That's a proper old-fashioned clearance there from the defender. There's a new player in at Inter. You heard it first with us. The signing is complete. Has a go here. It's almost as if he reached back to stop it crossing the line. No wonder he's getting an ovation from his supporters. Gone short here. The shot's on! Top performance from a top team, and they've emphasised their superiority with the number of goals that they've scored. Oh, great goal, Alan. I think the goal scorers made the most of that corner because it was just a, a standard floated ball into the box. So off they go again, trying to make some sort of mark in a game that they're being dominated in. 
We've reached the hour mark. Half an hour to go. Oh, they couldn't keep possession. They've given it away. Lost the ball. Space for Watford to break into. Cleverly. Fusetto. They read the opponent's mind and got the ball. Manager thinking for the away side, time for a change. Yetro Willems. John Joe Shelby. I would guess in this possession play here, they're trying to get the opposition to come out and marry them and maybe bend past their way through them. Set up to play on the break now. Shots on here. That's a wonderful save at full stretch. Can they catch the opposition out with this short corner? And shoots! Good block. Federico Fernandez. John Joe Shelby. He's made the interception. Taking on a couple of opponents now. Could get his cross in now. In front of goal. Well, they're losing by a lot, but they've actually now improved the situation. Well, that's a poacher's goal. Maybe not his most spectacular, but an important one here. We restart again, 4-1. It is too far to think of a recovery here, but, you know, maybe people take positives from games and this consolation goal might be a positive for, for the manager. Yeah, I think so, for, for the next game as much as anything else, because for this game, it's, uh, it's all up, it's all over. Probing away, working away at the opposition with these passes. Tam Maxima blocked off the pass there. Hector, time ticking on, just over 15 minutes to go. Chalaba. Excellent vision. He's got out there quickly and stopped the ball coming in. Shot on! He's had a real go. It's a decent effort, that, with plenty of sting in it. Yeah, not far away. He really did fizz it, didn't he? At Manchester City, there has been a goal. Alan McInally. It's a second goal for Manchester City. 78 minutes played. 2 1. Eagle eyes, as always, from Alan McInally. Cuts it out nicely. Always risky sliding in like that, particularly in the penalty area. But he got away with it this time. They're disgusted, aren't they, the fans, that the ref hasn't pointed to the spot there? Etienne Capu. That's a bad ball. Almost done now. 4-1. Time ticking away. So we can think about what this might mean for their next game. Well, Newcastle United go up against Liverpool, and uh, and they've done pretty well out here. They'll be pleased if they win it. Coming onto the pitch, and it is a substitute coming on for an already booked player. Can't get past him. Such a good defender. Chalaba, Pusetto. They can spread the play now. 
and it's gone out for a throw. Only partially cleared, so there's still some problems for them. Made sure the pass wasn't completed. Cleverly. The fourth official has indicated there will be a well read and a key time for the team here. Promising forward play from them again. No threat now. Miguel Almiron. Traore. San Maxima. Looks to shoot. Oh, it's off the bar. the last blast on the whistle today I can't recall he's played it short 